remove the old volume control. Carefully pull it out of the wall, making sure not to disconnect any of the wires. Take careful note of which is the input and which is the output. If they're not marked, you may want to mark them yourself with a piece of tape to label them. Make sure they don't fall back into the wall. Remove the single gain box. Place the cutout template over the hole. Trace your cutting. Use a drywall saw to cut the hole. Next, we'll connect the speaker wires. Remove the connector. If the connector from your volume control fits, and the polarity is identical to that on the veil amp, you may get lucky and be able to use it. You'll likely need to rewire the connector from your volume control to the veil amp. This is the output that will power your speakers. Find the output to the speakers. We recommend doing one pair at a time. For example, remove the old left and positive and negative wires. Reconnect those to the veil amp speaker connector. Make sure you have a tight fit for all connectors. Next, remove the other set from your volume control speaker connector. And connect those to your Dale Amp speaker connector. Once again, be sure the wires are secure Find the power connector that was included with your veil amp. Remove one of the connectors. We'll be attaching this connector to one of the input sides to the volume control. We recommend for reference just using the right positive and negative. Disconnect the wires from the volume control connector and attach them to your veil amp connector. Pay careful attention to the positive and negative markings on the connector. Once again, securely connect the wires. Now we'll plug both the speaker connector and the power connector into the veil amp. Be sure they're firmly inserted.
Now place the veil lamp into the wall opening. Secure it down with a Phillips screwdriver. Turn the veil lamp on by selecting the 4 ohm or 8 ohm speaker settings as directed in the manual. Next, place the Echo Dot Generation 2 into the veil lamp. Connect the cables and carefully press it into the dot. Next, take the wall plate and align it with the opening in the veil lamp. Snap it firmly in place. You're now done with this part of the installation. Next, we'll connect the power supply. Be sure you're using the same cables that went into your volume control. Disconnect it from your amp or receiver, or you may have a speaker selector. You will be connecting the power supply to the same wires that you used to connect to the power on the veil amp. Find the accessory plug in your veil amp packaging. You'll see it carefully has a positive and negative on it. Disconnect the cables from the speaker connector and connect them into the adapter. Be sure to follow the same polarity that you used on the veil amp side. Securely screw them down. Next, Find the power supply that came with your veil lamp. The plug will fit nicely into the adapter. Plug it in and plug the power supply into an outlet or power strip. You are now finished.